Hey y'all. I just kind of want to come up here and do a little update on everything the way that it's gone. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you guys an area that I'm having the problems with. It is at the um, site where he did the heart cath. So I'm just going to kind of bring you guys down and let you see the area a little bit. Um, if you can, how am I going to do this? I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's all in um, this area, and the uh, lumps are pretty bad up in here and in here. I did get the lumps to go down somewhat um, in this area. That's where the injection site was, and they had the swelling had gone down and then this morning I woke up and um, it was all swollen again so I'm not really sure why that they're not going down uh, well they went down as long as I keep ice and keep pressure on it it does go down but then the when I take the ice off, like overnight, I woke up and it was um, the size of maybe a plum and real hard. But after I had the procedure done and came home that night, it was the size of a mango. So I ended up back in the emergency room. They did an ultrasound. They didn't see at the time any bleeding, but she said to watch for bruising, and I am extremely bruised. Um, so, the doctor that did it, his office called me this morning, or they called me yesterday, and I told him what happened. And they said, if Dr. Fieldman feels like I, I should come in, they'd call. So they did, they called this morning. They wanted me in today, but I, my sister was gone with the car, so I couldn't make it because he was only there to 12.30. So they did manage to get me scheduled for tomorrow at one. Um, as far as having any relief, not really. Um, he did have the blockage. The blockage was, I think he said, at 70%, and he brought it down to 10%. So that's phenomenal. Um, he did put two stents in, and my ex-husband was there, and he watched it, and he said the blood just flowed. But I am having some um, pressure on my chest up in this area. I am winded um, more than I was before the procedure, and I am awfully um, clotted down in, in the growing area and that's what I just showed you guys kind of hard to sh turn the cam the trick if I could turn the camera around it would have been easier but I can't so um, I will put up as my picture one of the areas that's you know being bruised but I'm about bruised from inner thigh to the opposite outer thigh so it's got a band that goes you know, all the way. I don't really know if I'm bruised in the back because I haven't, I, can, I don't, can't see. <laughs> so, but I just wanted to come on and let you guys know um, the surgery went good. Um, he said it wasn't as bad as what the doctor had made it out to be. There was an admiralty to where he said um, one of them was crooked. So he had to go in there kind of and bend that back up and then he put a, a small stint in then he put a bigger stint in um so he was hoping that would make some difference um it really hasn't 
So he said, if it doesn't make a difference, then we're gonna have to address maybe another avenue, why I'm having the issues. And um, so they'll probably tomorrow, I'm hoping do an EKG to see if it's better and it's not showing that right bundle blockage. And then uh, he can find out why I am clotting up so bad and the growing at the injection site where he went in. He went into two different areas, so not just one. So he probably went in each entrance per stint is what I'm thinking. So um, I had a calf before and I didn't, it, this didn't happen. So why it's happening now, I don't know. And I can't go into the hospital now because I got to get Ace out on the 18th. Well, this is going to cost a lot of money because it, he also had to go on a special diet that I'm having to pay for because I forgot his his dinner that I made for him here at home. I knew I was going to do that, but I forgot. So, it is what it is. Um, but anyway, I wanted to come on here and let you guys know I'm all right. I'm having some difficulties, some issues, but... I'm just praying that they're not anything to worry about and you'll see me tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to come back up and do another update. I just haven't been feeling very well. Um, it's just a struggle. So I don't know if it's normal to be winded after a procedure like that. And it just takes time to build it back up. Uh, why I'm still having a little pressure in my chest and why I'm clotting so bad. I mean, it looked like I was gonna give birth in my groin to hamsters, that's how big it was. Ain't lying. The nurse started laughing when I told her that. But it was so huge, it was like a, um, it was two different humps and they were both like the size of mangoes. I am not kidding. And it freaked the paramedics out when they got here. And they were like, oh my goodness. So, uh, they rushed me in. They rushed me into ultrasound. Just to make sure I wasn't bleeding in the groin. Because that's a major artery. So, we got to find out why I'm clotting um, in this artery. So, I will see him tomorrow. <clears throat> Hopefully, tomorrow evening or the next day. I'll be able to come on and give you guys another update. But if you will, please keep praying for me. I appreciate all your prayers. They mean so much. And I need them so bad. Um, I'm looking forward to happier times. And this getting all addressed and fixed. And um, so I can come back and try to be funny even though I'm not. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you so, so much. Please remember. And that's another thing. I thank the Lord I didn't have to have open heart surgery um that quack that told me almost hand me a shovel to get my affairs in order was a liar and i know that was the devil just trying to scare me but it worked for six months it worked so at least i got stinted and will address hopefully um my problems here on out so okay guys like I said, I love you so, so very much. And remember to always put him first because he put you first. And I'll see you on my very next video. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.